Hey, Matt here, sort of live from the NACA convention in Reno, and in this video, learn the complete Xactimate mobile claims process from start to finish. This video is a special sneak peek of our complete Xactimate mobile training available to our Adjuster TV Plus Insider Pro subscribers. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Get a juicy discount on tools, books, CE, and certifications with code ADJUSTERTV at HagueEducation.com and by errors and emissions insurance provider Kaplik. Check them out at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. All right, enjoy the video. Hey, what's up? Matt here with Adjuster TV and welcome back to Xactimate Mobile Training here on Adjuster TV Plus. And in this lesson, we're gonna talk about the overall kind of workflow, sort of like from a, a, a strategic level of sort of 50,000 foot view of how you're gonna use Xactimate Mobile in the context of field claims, whether it's catastrophe or daily property and in the context of using it with Xactimate desktop, right? So the very first thing that you wanna do is if you are gonna go out in the field and you're gonna do a bunch of water losses, for example, what I would do is pick the ones that I wanna to do today, right? Just grabbing some random ones here. And then I would, not that one, um, maybe that one. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna upload those to the cloud. Send those all to the cloud. Right, and then the next thing I'll do before, I, and this is before I leave my hotel room. I might even do this the night before, um, if I'm just going to get up straight in the morning, grab a breakfast burrito, and run out the door. Then I'm going to jump into Xactimate Mobile and go to my uh, my projects and find those files. I'll find the ones that are from the cloud. So this one, uh, this one, this one, this one. Right, those are all ones that I want to. Uh, work on today. So now those are going to end up back in my local folder, right? So I have Jennifer Smith, Timothy Howard, Jesse Johnson, and then those those two ones with the numbers on them, right? Those are going to download onto my iPad, and then from here I'll be able to map them and do everything that I need to do, right? Obviously, I'm going to drive from Dallas to Kansas City and then over to Salt Lake City in one day, no problem, um, but you kind of get the idea, right? So I, I've got them loaded onto my, my iPad, um, so that I can, I can hand, I can run them. Okay, so from here, what'll happen is, is I, I pull up to the house. I'm like, all right, I'm at Jennifer Smith's house, and I'm gonna open up her file, right? Uh, if there's anything in here that I need to address, the number one thing is going to be the date inspected, um, and I make sure that that's the date that I want and then and the time, right? And then I'm gonna jump straight into uh, sketch, right? This one's already got a sketch in it, but I'm gonna start building my sketch from here. Um, for, we'll say that this is for rooms, right? So once I've sketched this particular room, I'm gonna take photos of the room and then I'm gonna build my estimate, right? So I'll have my sketch on here and then I can, you know, do whatever I gotta do to add my macros um, and put all this information in here, right? And then when I get done doing that, after I've uh, sketched the room, I've taken photos of this room, and I've added the line items that I want to add in here, I'm going to leave this room and go to the next room and do the same thing, right? Um, so it's, and that's the, the overall essential workflow that we're talking about here is to to start in a room that makes sense to start in, especially this, I, and I think Xactimate Mobile really shines on it, lar especially large loss interior water claims or smoke or fire claims. Right, so go into a room, get the dimensions, take the pictures of the overviews of the room, uh, take photos of the damaged areas. If there's one, like you got a water spot on the ceiling, get your, you know, this is, we have this in the fast track to deployment um, training section. Um, take an overview photo of the damaged area and then take a close up of the damage and then add my line items and make sure I've got everything that I need in this room and then hop out of the room, pull the door shut behind me, and go to the next room, do the exact same thing, right? So the the, the main steps are gonna be um, get the dimensions, get the photos, and then, and then put your line items in it. And then if you do it that way, by the time you get back to the front door, the foyer, like say if you had three inches of water in every single room and a downstairs and it's 2,000 square feet and there's eight rooms and whatever, you just kind of make it to where you 
you work your way back through the house, building your sketch and you're, you're taking your photos and writing in your line items. By the time you get back to the front door, you have a completed estimate, right? And you can say to the homeowner, okay, grand total is this or the contractor or whatever. Here's everything I put in there. You scroll through the list, show them a report, uh, text or email or print out a report for them, right? You can print to, you got a printer in the truck that's on Wi-Fi, whatever you want to do, right? That's the overall workflow for this um, while you're at the house. Once you're done doing that, I would strongly encourage you to label your photos in Xactimate Mobile um, before you leave the house. If you um, send this to the cloud and then pull it back down onto your computer, which I'll show you here in a second, um, label your photos before you leave the house because it may be that you forgot a photo, right? And when you, it, it takes a little bit of time, but you're kind of like, if, you, if you're running up against a deadline of, of, of another appointment and you've got the time to do it, I would do it then because I think it makes you more efficient, makes me more efficient anyway, right? So I always try, if, if the absolute minimum before I leave the house, I want to have the photos uh, labeled, right? So that's just not like a gazillion photos and now I got to organize them or whatever. Um, let's go ahead and get those labeled before you leave the house. So once you've done all that, um, you've gone through, sketched, photographed, put together your estimate, and then you um, are done with the sketch part, like the, the actual scoping and the writing of the estimate part, then I'm going to exit this project and the Jennifer Smith, I'm going to send it back up to the cloud right, which makes it disappear out of my local folder there. And then I'm going to jump into Xactimate, go to my cloud. What do we say, Jennifer? I'm gonna search for Jennifer. Jennifer Smith, there it is. And I'm gonna pull that one down. And now she disappears from my cloud projects and goes to my local. And that one, again, Jennifer. This one, I believe, is it. Yeah. Photos. There's my photos. All right. Just took those like a second ago. So then I can go ahead and start labeling my photos in here. Uh, if I didn't do it already in Xactimate Mobile, right? So you got you can do it either way. But you know everything else is in here. Your sketch is in there that we just made, right? That real basic, just a, just a room. We didn't change the name or anything. The estimate items on that room dropped in the water spot, uh, real quick and dirty water spot macro, right? This, all this stuff is already in here, and now I can continue to work on this file. Um, so that is the overall kind of like the 50,000 foot view workflow. Again, um, using both of these platforms, I'm going to, at the beginning of the day, um, you know, as I'm getting ready to head out the door, I'm going to take five minutes, pick the files that I want to work on that day. Those are the ones I've got appointments scheduled for. Send them to the cloud, open up this, you know, and then download those onto my, my, my iPad and use this to handle claims all day long. Um, you know, again, later we're going to talk about uh, labeling and organizing photos in here so that you don't even have to mess around with this. All you got to do is send it back to that, maybe do an activity diary or GLR if you're required to. For daily, you probably will be. Um, and then invoice, damage uh, evaluation, uh, claim summary, statement of loss, whatever it is you have to do on Xactimate X1 desktop, and then hit complete and send it up to the for file review and then you're done, right? So it's pretty straightforward. I think that that's, that's a pretty optimal workflow um, for Xactimate Mobile, uh, the way it's kind of currently configured right now. Um, and again, you know, that, that simple on-site workflow of you walk in, it's room one, right? Sketch it using Sketch AR or building it by hand, right? However you want to do it. And then taking your photos that you required photos for everything, adding your line items, and then pop into the next room sketch, photos, line items, sketch, photos, line items. And then by the time you get back to the front of the house, you're pretty much done, right? So pretty slick. Um, and that is kind of the 50,000 foot view of uh, overall claims workflow using Xactimate Mobile in conjunction with uh, Xactimate X1 desktop. So we'll catch you in the next lesson. If you enjoyed that special sneak peek and are interested in watching the complete Xactimate Mobile training, just sign up for an Insider Pro subscription at AdjusterTV Plus. 
Insider Pro also includes complete Xactimate Level 1 and 2 certification training.